So what's ahead for us in the new year? We've asked our CBS News correspondents around the world for an assessment. And we begin with Chip Reed in Washington. The witch hunt, as I call it, should never have taken place. A couple of developments involving the U.S. and Russia today. If we don't have border security, we'll shut down the government. If you think this year has felt like a political roller coaster ride, you are a rude, terrible person. You might want to fasten your seatbelts even tighter for next year. It has the potential, I think, to be one of those cataclysmic years that historians write about. Susan Page of USA Today says President Trump's battles of the past two years will pale in comparison to those he'll face when Nancy Pelosi and her fellow Democrats take control of the House on January 3rd. He's been president for two years with no effective congressional oversight of himself or of his administration, and that is about to change. Monday, House Democrats will have subpoena power, and they plan to use it to compel testimony from a parade of potentially incriminating witnesses and to uncover secret documents, including the president's tax returns. But that could turn out to be a sideshow compared to special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into allegations that the president colluded with Russia and obstructed Mueller's investigation. What's in the report is still largely a mystery. There have been virtually no leaks from the special counsel office. So this could be an absolutely blockbuster report when it does come out. I think it's hard to imagine that it won't be. If it is, and perhaps even if it isn't, the fired up, newly elected House Democrats are expected to demand that the president be impeached. And if Pelosi goes along, they'll probably succeed. But let me say of impeachment, you can't be political about it. But only the Senate has the power to remove a president from office. And with the Senate in Republican hands, that is unlikely, barring a truly staggering revelation from Mueller. With the government shutdown now in the middle of its second week and a bitterly divided government on the horizon, the chances of actually getting something done in Washington in 2019 are getting dimmer by the day.